Oh, thank you very much, Reem. I'm very glad to be joining in this group. Actually, I'm still traveling uh, in Northeast China. It's pretty cold outside. It's just about uh, zero degree, I think. But it, it is always makes me feel comfortable and warm uh, when I see the APIS group. So it's great to see you again. And today um, I want to present my uh, some of my ideas about um, virtual care or telemedicine, uh, share our uh, experiences and uh, lessons we have learned uh, from China. Next, please. I will make a brief introduction about the XY that the XY launched the first COVID-19 dashboard in the, in the world. And then uh, we became uh, the data source of John Hopkins. And um, here is a very brief uh, the XY. Um, we are an online platform run by members of the Chinese medical community. Uh, next, please. Uh, I think this picture uh, showed the XY's doctor influence. Uh, our strategy is to help Chinese doctor grow. Uh, since the year of 2000, uh, we have become uh, the, the best known um, doctor community in China. We have covered over 70% uh, Chinese doctors and the 2 million doctors are a licensed physician in China. Um, and our uh, application is uh, very welcome by the doctors. Our doctors daily active users has been up to uh, 400,000 and uh, monthly active users uh, from doctor has been over uh, 2.2 million. Um, in every single day, we have over 1 million interactions on the WeChat, TikTok, um, and other social platforms. Um, so we have over, uh, we have over uh, 10 million professional followers on the WeChat, including uh, doctors, medical students, nurses, um, and also farmer and uh, life science researchers. Next, please. Regarding to our uh, consumer side, um, we start this uh, business or service a little bit late. Uh, we started from the year of 2014. And the strategy of this part actually is to help Chinese uh, consumer and patients live a healthy life. And so far we have become the best known platform in terms of uh, online healthcare providers. Uh, we have uh, acquired over 9.6 billion uh, visitings during the COVID-19 uh, outbreak. We published the uh, evidence-based uh, articles, which helped people to understand the COVID. Um, of course, we have a lot of followers on WeChat. There are over 39 million uh, followers, unique ID followers on WeChat. And the daily interactions has been over uh, 4 million. Next, please. Uh, our strategy actually is D plus C. Um, on the doctor side, we provide a doctor uh, online discussions, online learning. Uh, drug assistant is over a mobile-based application. It helps the doctor to check the drugs, facts, drug-drug interactions, side effects. Um, and also, we happen to be the largest physician uh, career development platform which means we uh, provide doctor job opportunities uh, we collected from the nation. Um, and we have collected over uh, 3 million resumes from medical students and doctors. So this is a very helpful platform for doctor to seek a job for hospitals to recruit talented people. Uh, in terms of the consumer side, um, we provide three services or products. Uh, we help Chinese consumers and patients live a healthy life. The first will be a uh, healthcare content because there are a lot of misinformation, disinformation on the internet. I think a lot of speakers <clears throat> has already mentioned this. And we collect the qualified doctor and to create evidence-based uh, science review articles, um, help the uh, Consumer understand the uh, scientific facts. We translated from uh, clinical trials, from the scientific research, and uh, turned the language into 
the content which lay people can understand. The second one will be a, a healthcare service. Um, we provide online consultation, which is also the today's topic. How can we make sure the online consultation to be safe and qualified? Uh, last but not least, uh, we provide healthcare products. And here the products means a tangible products, not virtual product. Um, so these three parts composed of our uh, integrated and continuous solution, which can help consumer and the patient live a healthy life. Next, please. I know a lot of people are uh, very um, fancy of uh, telemedicine. There are a lot of advantages like telemedicine is convenient, maybe it's cheaper and quicker, but we need to see the disadvantages of telemedicine. Uh, from my side, mostly uh, we care about uh, the medical safety and the service quality. So let me uh, take online consultation as an example. In the online consultation or telemedicine, you cannot touch the patient. You cannot see the patient in person. So there could be misdiagnosis diagnosis or um, wrong treatments, irrational drug use, um, or uh, patient privacy leaks, et cetera. And another part will be about uh, service quality. Um, there may be, there could be some um, doctor's cherry picking admission, which is quite interesting. You know, the, the doctors will pick up some easy questions and uh, refuse some difficult or complex questions. That is what we call the cherry picking. Um, but the user's experience will be much worse if the patients feel about being cherry picked. Another one will be doctors' short and un unconcerned answers. Uh, I have been practicing as a doctor. Uh, my background was neurology. So in my uh, daily work, probably I will see 60 to 80 patients in one single day. And that's not even the records. <clears throat> the highest record, I think, belongs to the magic <coughs> dermatologist. The dermatologist, they can check 150 patients in one single day. So usually we just have three, five minutes to engage with the patient, even with, with no eye contact. If you don't train the doctor, the doctor will bring this bad habit to the online part. So their answer would be very short. And doctor may copy answers from search engines. Doctor may uh, advertise themselves in a very sneaky way. And very uh, some doctor may be very rare. Uh, they Their manner is not good. Uh, even they have some uh, uh, sexual harassment to the to the to the patient. Uh, it is rare, but it did happen. Next, please. So lesson one we learned is about your position. Uh, from my perspective, I think healthcare is like a river. It has upstream and downstream. Downstream is more uh, disease focused, but upstream is totally different. Upstream will be a uh, healthcare or lifestyle centered. It's not just about disease, it's about life. Even a patient, they, they deserve a healthy life. So we position ourselves to the uh, upstream. Uh, this is our strategy. Uh, we focus on the healthy lifestyle. Uh, and uh, from this position, actually, the question is, is more about um, issues, worries, concerns, troubles from the patient. Uh, so the risk is much lower than the disease consultation. The regulation is, <clears throat> is less. And also, um, the patient or consumer's behavior will be much higher uh, frequently. And we uh, also um, enlarged our user group, including both consumer and patient. Uh, next, please. The second lesson we learned is, uh, here, here is our philosophy. A lot of people believe if you bring the doctor online, if you bring the patient online or consumer online, they can engage naturally, but it's wrong. Um, our philosophy is doctors are not capable of online services unless they have been well trained. Uh, here we provide two formulas to make sure they're, to measure their medical safety and uh, service quality. The first uh, is uh, QS, is quality score. So we uh, 
trained the doctor and gave them online examination um, to test out their uh, score, including knowledge, inc including their uh, prescription, and also the service. The DSR means doctor service ranking. That is the admi admission rate. Um, we, we have to make sure there is no cherry picking. Admission rate times response time, peer review ratings, and user ratings. So basically, we use these two measurements to make sure that medical safety is guaranteed and also the user's experience is good. Next, please. And here are the results of uh, quality score and the DSR. For the patient side, the doctors respond faster and the user experience is getting better. Uh, the uh, cherry picking rate drops from 1.2% to 0.5%. The waiting time also drops from 32 minutes to uh, 18 minutes. And for the doctor side, um, we uh, based on the DSR score, we remove unqualified doctors and patients will be flowing to the better service providers. And for the platform, um, this is the Marable um, uh, system, which can help us uh, over management become more efficient and accurate. Uh, next, please. Here you can see that before DSR, the doctor's answer is very brief, very short. The user experience is bad. Next, after DSR, the doctor will provide a very comprehensive, very detailed information to the, to the patient to answer their questions, to do the disease education, and to show their empathy, to comfort the patient, to relieve their concern and, worry, and the worries. We generate, actually, we generate a template for the doctor. So doctor can follow these templates to fill in the answers. So that it becomes more structured and very um, uh, user-friendly based. Next, please. Uh, like I mentioned before, uh, we provide three parts um, to, uh, to the consumer and, and or the patients. And our third lesson will be uh, continuous, seamless. Uh, you provide the contents. After reading the contents, I understand how to pr protect my skin from sunshine. But where is the product? So it comes to the second part. Uh, we should provide the patient or the consumer the tangible products. And uh, even after using the products, I still have some questions unsolved. I need guide. I need advice from doctor. Then go to the service part, that, uh, which means the telemedicine or online consultation. Uh, here I highlight the second part uh, because we step into this business. We, we started to become a manufacturer. <laughs> so we uh, make our uh, tangible products to fulfill the patient needs. Next, please. Here I provide some examples like low GI food, light meal, uh, tissues to the uh, allergic patients or facial cleanser to the sensitive skins. These tangible products are uh, manufactured by us. Uh, we touch this business because uh, we uh, want to fulfill the on my needs, on my demands from the patient Though it makes us not quite look a pure internet company, but I don't really care. I only care about the life quality of the patient. Next, please. Here uh, is the um, slides I want to share with you that um, we should think as a patient, not for a patient. Uh, I, um, I used to be a doctor, but at the same time, I have been a patient, suffered from hypertension for a uh, over 10 years. I am a chronic disease patient, so I understand the feeling of being a patient. Uh, I don't need people think for me, but uh, we can change the position. Think you are a patient. So in fact, I am patient, like this fish in the, in the tank. People believe patient like the fish in the tank, they need water and they will be fine. Like patient need drugs and they will be fine. No, we are human. We need hair, we need water, we need lights, we need food. And in the daily life, we need to go outside, transportation, we need to live in the house, we, live, we need to be working outside like myself. I'm traveling in Northeast China. This is the, on a more holistic level about being a human, about the thinking as a human. Patient is also human. So 
we don't need just a drug. Drug is very important to us. But besides drug, we need to be treated like whole person. I think that is the meaning of think as a patient, not for patient. Next, please. Uh, our mission is to uh, is more health and better life. Actually, uh, our old version was more health, less disease. Uh, we changed the later part because we believe better life is more important than the less disease. And thank you very much.